welcome to today's lesson or today's recording um, what we need to do today is to show you how to add quiz for your, to evaluate your students and quiz is always important for evaluation after the student should have gone through your work or gone through your board summaries or gone through your um, your live session interactions using a big blue button and any other feature through your videos any resource materials you must have provided for them so this will serve as an evaluation okay let's get started now I'm a teacher I have logged in and after I log in what get what I have to where I have to go to on my left hand side will be my courses under my courses I have just three computer as the computer teacher I should have access to that I should be I've been enrolled for that so I can now set quiz for my students I have already created a live session for them I have um, done a board summary I've given them a board summary so that they can download that and use read and then um, attempt the quiz now the quiz needs to be the next thing that they need to have to do this go to the top left to the top right sorry click on that icon that look like a settings icon then turn editing on now once you click turn editing on you should have your add activity or resource right there so once you click on that it takes you down to where you have different activities now I can add quiz and click add first thing I would like to do is just type the term quiz some people could want to make it much more descriptive by typing components of the computer but quiz is good enough for me so I don't leave it as quiz I can also type uh, attempts or questions alright then I could work on the timing also enable the timing to be available at any time you want remember this to open the quiz if if you don't do this the quiz will not be available for them to to start up so open the quiz by enabling this when you enable this you can now schedule the time you want the quiz to begin from okay you can also close the quiz with the second part but i'm not going to do that then there, there are great options you have layouts everything here is usually set at default if you need any change you can always go back there and change anything so but i don't want to change anything right now just go to i'll just come to save and return to course then i'll click on that i should have my quiz um added now my quiz is added but i need to actually add questions on that quiz for the students now how come am i going to do that first i have to turn editing off so i'm going to click this and turn editing off now once that is done I can now go into the quiz to set my questions now I'm here right now no questions for the student nothing so I'm just going to click on edit quiz so that I can start editing my questions and first thing on the right hand side you see something called add I'm going to click on add I have new questions I have from question bank I have random questions I could select random questions from anywhere I can choose questions from my question bank if I have them that's it but right now we are going to work with a new question so I'm going to click on that we have various styles formats for questions true and false matching short answer numerical answers to questions but right now multiple choice is usually the go-to thing so we'll just click multiple choice and click add now with multiple choice I have options for A, B, C something like that before I get started I'll just type the uh, question name the kind of questions I want to set could be anything on com component on the computer which is hardware software and what is hardware what is software but right now I'll just type component of the computer there Okay, so uh, my first question, um, which I'll just say something. Which of sorry, which of the following is is not a part of 
is not a component of the computer or oh, which of the following is let me leave it that is a component of the computer so question mark good so I'm going to scroll down uh, default mark as one is okay general feedback uh, leave that for now I'm not going to be bothering myself with so much with that ID number if you like you can give them any ID number you can use any of these question marks to give you details about what that would mean once you click on it it gives you more information what it means um, one answer only yeah I don't want multiple answers so one answer part question so multiple choices you can choose you want it ABC or you want it in capital ABC just like that then answers to the question um, hardware hardware is a kind of is a component of a computer right so I'm going to ask yeah, so this should be the correct answer because it's the correct answer I'm going to click on this part that says none and give it 100% so that's the correct answer one correct answer good save that draft beautiful and go to the next part choice two my choice two I'm going to look for something that is wrong right so I'll just call it malware since it's not the correct one I'll leave it at none beautiful so I'll go to the next one I add another wrong answer the wrong answer could be anything I'll just put the computer uh, something like that come to the next one my um, computer where I don't know what I'm typing okay so um, I just you know what you can do man so just try threats where nothing like that well wrong answer none wrong answer none so just like that I can now come down you can do any other settings you like but I'll just click save changes now once I don't click in save changes I should have that added as my first question right so you can as well as anytime just zoom into the question to preview how it looks like then once you click on that zoom it brings out this window you can see the questions how it's going to look like All right so beautiful that is how to add your quiz now once you're done adding several questions and all you can now um save okay you can save everything then make sure that save you can go back to your um courses gss3 courses then that quiz is set that's how you have to go through you can use multiple choice you can use throw or false you can do any kind of question pattern you want you can try that but this you don't have to rely only on the re on this recording try as much as possible to explore some few other things to make the lesson much more lively thank you very much and have a nice time